let me show you how we can create a calendar page using Apple Pages on Mac. So here I am in the blank new document. In my case, I select a horizontal layout. I'm going to add a table to it. Let's go with the plain table. Here it is. Now I need to customize the number of columns to be seven. So we've got seven days in a week. I will turn on a title for the table. To do that, you must head to the table properties on the right side. Here's my title. That's table one by default, but I will change this to the name of the map. So that's April 2024. You can select the text, make it a bit larger. All right, it's the text color option as well for you here. If this space is too small, Keep in mind, we can drag it like any other cell and then you can customize it even further. You can decide that the text is at the center, the bottom or at the top. All right, so that's our table title, the month and the year. Now we need five weeks. Take a look, they already gave us five rows here. So that should be all right. We will add one extra just for the header for our days of the week. So let's add one more. So we got six in total, five weeks, four dates and one extra. That's cool. Let's now take care of those headers. I'm going to type all days of the week. All right, and again, we can select this whole row by clicking the number of the row, number one, and customize. This time, not table, but cells. You can also turn it into a header row by changing those numbers here in the footers and headers. That will be the middle one. And now this top is uh, officially a header row. You can use a quick styles now. Over here with some ready to use color patterns. Okay. Or you can just go with default with the gray one and customize it yourself in the cell when you can select any color you want. I'm going to keep it a gray, but light gray like this. And then I will modify the text a little bit by moving to the text section in the format menu on the right. Text to the center, a bit larger. It will be black, but for the Sunday, I will make it red. Just like that. Okay, we got our headers. Now we need to take care of the rest. So I need to make those cells a bit larger. I will click on row number two, hold shift and click on row number six to select them all. This way I can stretch them all in the same time without destroying my header. Looks good. Now we need to check when was the first day of April. Right now it's still a universal template for any month you need. And by the way, I will share that with you. So there will be a link in the description when you can download this table with days of the week and some blank month at the top. So you can kind of kick off this little project. So if you are in rush, don't want to do the whole table thing as I just did, you can download my file and kick off this project. All right, so first thing we do is customize the name of the month. That's done. That's April 2024. Now we need to take a look when was the first April, what day of the week. And in our case, that's a perfect, that was Monday. So I type one here, size 14, I move it to the right. And now if I type a number two in the next cell, I will do the similar thing, 14, move to the right. All right, and with cell A and B ready, we can now select them both holding shift and you will see this little yellow indication on the right. If you pull this out, the program will generate numbers for you like this. So that's nice, but we can take it even further. So I know we got seven days here, but below that it will be eight and nine. So let's customize this as well to the right side 14. Okay, if only setting up those four cells, we can select them now and 
by pulling this to the right and then pulling this down we can generate the whole month of course it's now 35 days so let's delete unnecessary cells simply by clicking on them and pressing delete on my keyboard and that's your quick calendar for april made in apple pages directly it will be really easy to recustomize this whole table into another month so let's just do it to show you how easy it is let's change this to may for the next month the first may was on wednesday so we're changing that to be first and the second making the first row correctly then we got six seven making the second row correctly and now the third row the 13 14 we can select both cells pull it down for the rest of the week 2021 20, select both cells with the shift pull it out Select both and pull it out. And this way we reformat that April calendar to be May. It's all correct very, very quickly. All right, as I mentioned, I will drop this file in the description. So just follow the link and download this for free to kick off your calendar project in Apple Pages. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.